really hostile environment prior to coming to this class. I did seven years in prison, and it kind of made me antisocial, you know. And uh, I was born and raised in a place called Tillicum, right off the street, and <clears throat> it was no good there. So, you know, it was like either you get in trouble or you make it out. And I was one of the people who got in trouble. So I ended up in the penitentiary for some years. And in there, it's so segregated. And, you know, people make you antisocial, and that's the way you have to live. But this class has made me, you know, understand that I can talk to white people and black people, Mexican people, anybody from any race, and I'm comfortable with that. You know, so in the end, this class has done a lot more for me than just teaching me how to speak. It opened me up. You know, I can share things with people. I'm not afraid. I don't have to be antisocial. So that's that part of it. So I'm going to go into my humor section. <clears throat> you know, I was sitting in the class one day. And uh, I don't know if I was daydreaming or what the situation was, but I started. I looked out the window and it was that day it was raining and it started to flood, right? So you know, I'm looking outside and I'm like, man, that's a big old puddle right there. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> so, excuse me, there's a big puddle right there, and all of a sudden, <laughs> I see I seen this guy pull up. You know, I'm looking, I'm thinking to myself, you know, because I snapped out my little daydream, I'm looking at him, and uh, he gets out the car, and he's almost knee deep in the water, like, right? And so, you can tell, like, he was leaning over his seat, you know, to grab his backpack or whatever it was that he had, right? So, <laughs> so he reached in and grabbed his backpack, and when he pulled it out, like, in my mind, I'm like, man, this backpack looks like it weighs, like, 300 pounds. You know? <laughs> so... He put the backpack on and he did just like this and fell straight back. <laughs> right? And you know, this is when I figured that the backpack was heavy because he was trying to get up and he started fast crawling. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was the craziest thing I ever seen, right? And so, <clears throat> so he started swimming in the puddle. <laughs> Why don't this man get out? <laughs> and then so finally, you know, he got smart enough to, you know, unloose one shit. <laughs> <laughs> he got smart enough to lose one strap, you know, and then he, saw he finally got up. And here's the funny part, I start, you know, I continued to watch him because he's, <laughs> he's sitting there looking at his car, you know, he's mad, you know, and then all of a sudden he kicks his tire. You know? And I'm like, dude, why are you get mad at the car, you know what I'm saying, for you pulling up in the puddle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> class like nothing like nothing happened like, he wasn't soaking wet you know it was funny you know so but yeah it was funny you know I was trying to figure out why he kicked the car you know said it wasn't the car man you know you just drove up and so anyway but uh next, next uh I want to talk about the people in the class um I'm gonna speak about the class as a whole and uh you know, uh, like I said prior, you know, the people in here, like the combination of people that's in this class, it's like different than any other class I've been in. And it makes me feel comfortable, like like I can open up to people, you know, and it's really cool, you know, like the people I've met. <clears throat> and um, next I'm gonna talk about two specific people, Julie and Ashley, you know, they, they're like my little sisters, man, and man, they're funny. You know? <laughs> the thing is, the thing that's special about them to me is, like I said, like the environment I come from, you know, we hang around gang members and criminals all day. So it, it was kind of, it kind of made me feel good that people like them accepted me. So now I know that I can integrate into any type of environment. You know, so that's why they're special to me. And Dr. Phil, <coughs> He's funny because he laughs at, he laughs at me, you know. I, I remember I said I read all day, you know. He started cracking up, you know. And, and I'm sitting there like, who's laughing, who's laughing, you know. Cause, <laughs> so, you know, I'm looking around the class. I'm trying to figure out who's laughing. This Dr. Phil, he's laughing at me. But, uh, you know, and also, you know, you know, when he said on the first day of school that he loved us, you know, that's kind of strange, you know, <clears throat> especially for someone like me. You know, to hear someone who don't know you tell you they love you, you know, because where I come from, it's like people are too hard to talk about love, and, you know. And so, <laughs> you know, when you hear stuff like that, that's kind of foreign to people like me, you know. 
But uh, so when he said that, you know, I opened my mind up to embrace him, you know, as a teacher. And he's a really good teacher. And if I could do this class again, I would. And so, uh, <clears throat> so my last thing I'm going to talk about is my uh, advice for the future class. You know, like to stick with it and have fun. You know, because there's not that many classes that you can just kind of unwind and open up, be yourself, communicate with people. You know, Dr. Phil makes you shake people's hands. I use sanitizer right after, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so you know, yeah, it's, it's uh, this is something you know more than just uh, learning how to do these speeches. You know, it's, it actually teaches you to communicate with a variety of people. And you know, you can learn a lot from Dr. Phil because he's smart. You know, you can just tell. You know, his daughter's playing the piano. Everybody got 4.0. If you look at his uh, his resume, it's like, how many years I got to go to school for that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to bust up laughing. You know, um, but uh, yeah, you know, Give it a chance, you know, it seems crazy at first. I remember, like, the first couple of days of school, Dr. Phil had all this stuff up on the board, and I was looking at it, and I'm like, man, I'm not finna pass this class. <laughs> 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 you know, until I finally figured it out, you know, and it, it was just like, I mean, yeah, it, it was overwhelming at first, you know, but after I started getting settled in, you know, getting comfortable with what was going on, you know, it was like, all right, this is cool, man. This is like one of the best classes I've ever been in, like, Normally, when I go to school, like, I just go to school, handle my business, and go home, and that's about it. But this class, like, I actually look forward to coming to this class. Like, this was, like, the highlight of my week, you know, the Monday and Wednesdays. It was, it's, it's awesome. But uh, so in conclusion, this is one of the classes that I always look forward to coming to, and, I, and I'll seriously miss everybody in here. And this is it. I'll see you all around. Yeah.